curls next door. Thank you so much. If this is your first time here stopping by this channel, I just wanted to say this channel is about natural hair, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of DIYs. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have a lot of MTs for natural hair, natural hair products, and I just wanted to bring that on this channel today, show you what I have to get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so first of all, I have Natural Club Dry Hair Solution, the deep conditioner. I really, really like this. This solution was awesome. I am aiming to put a lot more natural ingredients in my hair and in my girl's hair. And this was nice. I took this out of the freezer, left it out for two hours, let it defrost, put it in my So if anyone is opposed to harsh chemicals and stuff like that, try out Natural Club. Secondly, I have Africa's Best. Um, this is their Jamaican black castor oil growth oil. I try to use this up because um, over the quarantine I've been learning so much about natural ingredients. I bought this actually last December in 2019 and I wanted to use this up. Um, I use it as a hot oil treatment a couple of times before um, my wash day um, and I wasn't really ingredient conscious as I am now the smell is not too bad but I wanted to use this up because apart from castor oil is a lot of it wasn't pure there's a lot of other stuff other oils in here which I'm okay with but I really wanted the pure castor oil next I have the Aunt Jackie's uh, Coco Repair um, Coco Creme deep conditioner. So I'll definitely repurchase this because I know it works perfect on my girl's hair. Um, and I was able to detangle. There was a lot of slip while the deep conditioner was in the hair. We were able to detangle. I will definitely recommend. Then I have the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Leave-In Conditioner. I've had this for a while. I think I had purchased this back in December and we're just getting through this now. I don't think I'll repurchase this ever because I have stuff that does with no silicones in it. So with that being said, try I have the Honey's Handmade Coconut Water Ultimate Hydration Hair Mask. Okay, I used this um, two tries and it was awesome i don't know i don't know what she put in here but the smell wasn't bad it wasn't perfumey everything is just natural ingredients in here but this is definitely a then i have the alake naturals honey and sage deep conditioner this is what it looks like i don't have a lot to say about it except that this will definitely um, it this definitely did work in my hair. I used it twice and um, It left my hair feeling so manageable and soft and silky that I would definitely repurchase this again Actually, I do have a backup everything that I'm showing you here minus just a few I do have a backup of but this I do have a backup of this already everything is natural pure no um, Silicones in here no perfume, no dyes, no nothing, nothing. This is just awesome. And it kept my hair so manageable and soft after I rinsed this deep conditioner out. I love this. Tonicals Bite and Go Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment with herbal teas and botanicals. So this, oh my gosh, guys. I am a lazy natural. I like the fact that I could use this, put this mask in my hair, put on a plastic cap, put on my scarf, go to bed, wake up next morning and rinse and start with my treatment. I do pre poo my hair, but I do it overnight. This is the best pre poo. I, mean, I use it as a pre poo. Um, I used it as a deep conditioner. I had two uses out of this because I was very heavy handed. I believe they said put this on dry hair, which, you know, you, you, you tend to use more when your hair is dry. But this, guys.
guys, guys, this was so good. I paid full price for this. I didn't even get this on sale. I paid full price for this, and guess what? I have about two more backups of it. And if she has this back on her website, I'll be purchasing this again. Then I have the Honey's Handmade Coconut Water Leave-In Conditioner. This was very good. I love the smell of it. Um, the girls loved it too. We got consistent use out of this. I think maybe four or five uses on four of our heads because I have three daughters. So we got consistent use out of this every wash day. We would put this in. We use it for about four weeks. This was awesome, guys. Um, the slip, oh my gosh, because I usually put the deep conditioners on in the shower. And the slip this thing gave me was ridiculous. I would recommend this to any Okay, so the next thing I have is this Main Choice uh, Pore Leaf Clover Shampoo. I used up all of this in my hair. I was using this sparingly. I love this. This right here. I use this consistently from one face to the next. Um, from Tenna Sue. I am doing her six week regimen, hair regimen. Um, and I started this uh, approximately six weeks ago because I am on week six right now. But I just wanted to show you a couple of the empties that I do have from her, because um, she specializes in Ayurveda and in henna and different things like that. And I just wanted to show you just a few things that I, empties that I do have from the line. Um, I do have the Coco Veda hair mask. Okay. This left my hair feeling so soft and silky um, after I rinsed it out from the mask. I have a backup of this already. I paid full price for this and I never pay full price for any hair product whatsoever. I liked it so much that I ordered another one from her. Love this, love this, love this. It was, I just felt so good knowing that I'm putting good ingredients in my hair um and in my you know just my overall just thinking it makes me feel good on wash day to know that i'm not putting a whole bunch of foolishness in my so i am so excited i was so excited to use this i use it up in one sitting one sitting i use this up um and you could get multiple uses out of this i'm just heavy-handed with my products so i'll definitely be doing this six week course again over the next 90 days then i have her cassia and curls and moisture um, mask that i did put in my hair i left it in for two hours as recommended and same thing um it was a little bit drying um this was a little bit drying this and the i also have the aerobatic scalp and root mask Okay, so next we have the um, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate Repair Shampoo. And we also have the Hydrate Repair Protein Power Treatment. So these two, I only have a little bit left in this, but I am not ever going to finish this off. I already know. So this, these are good. These are good. I, I don't do a lot of Shea Moisture. I'm not a big Shea Moisture fan, but this line, I would definitely recommend this to anybody who needs a protein treatment. My daughters and I, we use this up in one stand. I will definitely repurchase the whole line again. If I Next, I have the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff. It's very inexpensive and it works with any type of gel. Pretty much works with any type of gel that you want to put in your hair. This is it's just, it's just awesome. It's an awesome leave-in conditioner. Um, it's lightweight, it's not heavy, it doesn't hold down the hair, 
or anything like that and I'll definitely repurchase this again. Next I have the African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This is what it looks like. Um, this was nice. I love the scent of this. Um, and it didn't bog down the hair, it didn't weigh down the hair or anything like that. It was we used it as a refresh moisture. Yes, please. Next, I have the African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baobab Oil Hydrate and Strengthen Leave in Cream. So we use the spray that I just showed you, and then we use this cream on top of the spray. Then we use whatever gels we have on top of that. So this is the cream of nature pure honey moisturizing dry defense conditioner this is the conditioner to the mask that i showed you earlier next i have the palmer's cocoa butter and biotin length retention conditioner it didn't give me a lot of slip but i used it because there is biotin in here it also has vitamin E and antioxidants in here and it's good for color. My hair does have color in the end. So next we have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula and it is Cocoa Butter and Biotin Length Retention Conditioner. Okay, there's no sulfates, no parabens, no phylates, no mineral oils, no glutens, no dyes, no silicones, but it didn't really work for my hair, but I did let it use it i continued using it until all was gone it conditioned my hair um i didn't get the moisture that i thought i was gonna get but i liked it the smell wasn't wasn't overpowering it reminded me of the lotion and i grew up on that lotion as a child so a lot of these things just bring back so many memories to me but i really do like this um and we'll see all right so we have another main choice conditioner I don't need to say anything else I love this line the whole line I'll repurchase over and over and over and over again after especially if she has a sale I will stock up on it because it is worth it especially this line I love the smell and everything um, you know and it, it, it gave me a lot of slip shampoo was already moisturizing but this gave me a lot of a lot of slip in the shower while I was detangling um, and I love detangling slip anything that could give me slip it's staying in my arsenal forever and ever but this was good so curly wavy kinky coily hair and I have all of the above so this is gonna stay with me forever. okay so then we have honey's handmade I have two more products from them um, and the last two empties from them would be the Red Salt um, Valentin Deep Conditioner and then the Maca and Bamboo Hair, Healthy Hair Growth Mask. So one deep conditioner and one mask. And they are only two ounces. So this is good for my girls. Um, we use the bamboo treatment for protein. Um, and it's nothing but good good ingredients in either of these I haven't used any one of these deep treatments in my hair just yet but it produced a lot of slippage in my girls hair and that is all that matters so we use these two we use a protein treatment and the next one I'm not sure what the next one is protein and moisture but they both give protein and moisture so this will definitely be repurposes for us in the future Okay, and finally, I have the Got To Be Ultra Glued. Um, I'm a wig wearer. So this is done, it's a styling gel, nothing, to, nothing else to be said about it. It um, tacks down my wigs when I wear them. Um, it's been a while. I'm going on a no wig journey for the next 90 days. I'm just gonna take care of my natural hair while I'm home quarantine so this is empty nothing else needs to be said so that's the end of my video guys i hope that you like what you see um i am going to get rid of all these empties and move on to doing my hair so that you could keep encouraging me thank you for stopping by and god bless until my next video thank you